Hello everybody! In today's video I show you how to install ABAP Git on your SAP system. This is the precondition for installing the well-known and popular add-on ABAP to XLSX, for example. All links I show you during this video can also be found in the video description. So let's start and open the following link docs.ababgit.org. Here we found the ins installation and the precondition. It required SAP Basis 702. So let's go to the ABAP system, then on status, and we click on this icon, and we see here we are on release 752. So we can install ABAP Git. Then we need the code, so right mouse click on this link, save link as, and the code is downloaded in a file on our system, so let's click on save. Then we go back to the ABAP system and we open the transaction SE38. The ABAP editor and here we create the program set ABAP git underscore standalone. Then we click on create. Then we type a title here and the type executable program. Then we click on save. So we don't need the package because Git is only used on a development system. So we click on local object. Okay, now we have created the program and now we import the code, utilities, more utilities, upload, download and upload. And here we pick the downloaded file and we click on open. Yes, we allow this. And here's the code. Some lines and we click on activate. Then we check the second entry here and we click on continue. And the activation takes some time. So I have increased the speed here a little bit. Okay, the activation is done and now let's run the program. Now we compile some packages and here it is, ABAP git. And if you now want to clone and use online repositories, it is possible that you get an SSL error. We had such an error in one of my former videos where we used an external web service in ABAP. In order to fix this SSL error, we have to import some certificates. For GitHub, this is the certificate of github.com and api.github.com. So we click on the, uh, this icon here, then certificate is valid, then on details and export. Then we pick this file name and click on save. And we do the same for the uh, website api.github.com. Click on here, then connection is secure, then on certificate is valid, tap details and export. And here we type the uh, subdomain api. Then we click on save. Now we have uh, downloaded the two certificates and now we go back to SAP and we type the transaction as trust. This is the trust manager. Double click on SSL client anonymous and we scroll down to the button 
import certificate click on it and we pick the downloaded certificate from github click on open and we allow the upload now we have uploaded the certificate we see here the the set the settings and we have to add this certificate to the certificate list so we go to edit mode scroll down again and click on the button add to certificate list so the certificate is added and next we import the second certificate from uh, uh, the api.github.com okay we scroll down we see these are the settings from the second certificate and we add this to our certificate list so now we have already added the two certificates so let's go back yeah we save this and let's go back to the transaction se 38 and let's start the program set up up git standalone again and now we are able to uh, create copy and use git repositories online yes that was it have fun setting it up if you like my videos i would be happy if you give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos in the future I would be happy to see you again on my next video. Thank you and see you soon.